So hi everyone. Um, I'm Yash, and uh, Yang and Chen are sitting over there. So our project is combining CNNs for better image classification. So all of us know that uh, CNNs have been used for uh, image classification tasks on a variety of domains. But what people have also done is they have classify, they have trained CNNs on the same data set and averaged their inputs, uh, their outputs, so that uh, we get better results. And they've not stopped over there. They have train the MCDNN structure, which is a structure that I described in the previous image, and train this structure on different forms of the pre-processed data of the same data set, and then average the results, which essentially gives even better performance. But all we are doing here is basically averaging uh, the scores across all the classes. So the question we asked ourselves is, can we do better than the average? So suppose that I have a test image, and I know that it is a little low in contrast, and I know that a certain pre-processing step, say P1, uh, is, is suitable for such kind of an image. So can I not boost the output of a particular MCDNN, which is working with that P1, uh, which is working with the P1 pre-processed data set? Can I not have some kind of a gating behavior here? Can I not learn the weights given the test image? So to address this particular problem, uh, we work with this approach wherein we are learning weights for each test image. So here you see an MCDNN, which is working on a pre-processed data set, say PI. XI is the average output from that uh, MCDNN. And we are learning weights WI for each test image using a hyper uh, variable over here called VI. So in addition to estimating weights for the MCDNN, now we also have to estimate the weights for uh, the weights uh, VI so that we can generate WI for each uh, each of the test images. And to do that, you have to essentially backpropagate your, the, all the way through MCDNN or, and also from WI to VI to the image features. And we have the equations for doing just that on the right. Uh, for our experiments, we use the Street View House Number data set. Uh, we use Start 7 as our environment, and our convolutional neural nets were uh, had two special convolutional layers followed by two fully connected neural layers. And for training the uh, for training the weights VI, we essentially extracted SIFT and HOG features from the from the from all the test images. And these are the results of our experiments. So we trained five uh, five DNNs for each of the pre-processing types. We had four pre-processing types and one is the original data set. And as expected, we can see that the five-column MCDNN essentially outperforms uh, each of the each of the, each of the single uh, CNN. And we then went ahead and averaged across all these five MCDNNs to yield a 25-net uh, MCDNN, which gives us a slightly better performance. And this is how uh, this is how it compares to our method, uh, where we use two kind of uh, Vector, uh, two kinds of weights. One is a scalar weight, other is a vector weight. And both of them essentially perform similar to the 25 net MCDNN. We couldn't outperform it. We think that's because uh, the features that we are extracting are essentially very simple. They're basically Sift and Hog features. And we think that we need uh, more complex, more complex uh, features from the test image to essentially discriminate between inputs coming from different M uh, MCDNNs. So yeah, these are the references. Thank you.